Hey, welcome to the Reading's Fall Street Fair uh, 2022. We're real excited for this uh, festive day, but also a very commemorative day. Uh, today is also the 21st anniversary of September 11th. Um, so we've got some nice words uh, that we'd like to share with you. And I'd like to introduce the Reading Chief of Police, Dave Clark. Thank you, everyone. Uh, for those of you who know me, know I usually don't need a microphone to talk to people, so I'll try not to yell on the microphone this time. Um, when most people reflect on September 11th, they can recall exactly what they did that day, who they called first, where they were. When I think about and reflect back on September 11th, I think about a particular day that happened after. Like most people, I was very angry that day, upset, and I felt the need to do something, anything. When the Reading Police Department announced that they were looking for volunteers to go down and help out at Ground Zero and to assist with operations down there, I immediately jumped on the opportunity and volunteered. I was selected to go with then Chief Cormier. We had no idea what we'd be doing, but we didn't matter. We were willing to go down just to do something, anything to help. We spent several days down there transporting counselors and clergy around to different locations, from Ground Zero itself to family council centers. Wherever they needed to go, whatever they needed, we made sure it happened. On the second day that we were there, we were at Ground Zero itself. We were driving a counselor around that day and he had to go speak to some people down at the site. As we were waiting for him, I entered the location where the Twin Towers once stood. As I was standing there, I looked off to my left and noticed a building. The wall of the building was completely gone. And it was, you could see into all the offices. In one office in particular, I looked up and you could see the desk, the filing cabinets, everything was still on top of the desk. Papers were blowing in the wind. And I never, one thing I remember is focusing on a fan that was slowly spinning and rotating in the wind. I have no idea how long I stood there just looking off to my left at this office one of the firefighters walked up to me. All he said to me is he pointed to that office and said, you know that's the seventh floor, right? And it was that particular moment that I looked around and realized I was standing on top of the pile where the Twin Towers used to be, seven stories up looking even with a building. And I'll never forget that day. And any time I reflect back on September 11th, that's what I re remember. The sheer total devastation, the loss down there. And that's what I'll always remember when I reflect on that day. So when you reflect and you think about today, just remember the people we lost, people, um, the loved ones, how you felt that day, and always remember them. I'd like to introduce now the Reading Community Concert Band who performed the National Anthem. I'd now like to introduce Reading's Fire Chief, Chief Greg Burns. Uh, thank you, Chief Clark. Thank you all for coming today and for the Rotary for sponsoring this event. I believe it's important for us to remember and respect the tragic loss of life that occurred on September 11th, 2001, 
now 21 years later. We know the impacts of the events of 9-11 are still being felt today. When I, th when I think about 9-11, like many of you, my memories are vivid. I remember clearly where I was and what a beautiful September day it was with cool, crisp air. I think about the tragic loss of 2,983 lives. I think about the loss of 2,753 lives at the Twin Towers that included 343 firefighters and paramedics, 23 New York City police officers, and 37 Port Authority police officers. I think about the passengers and crew on the four planes. I think about the loss of life at the Pentagon and about the Reading firefighters that traveled to New York to attend funerals of firefighters that had died in the attack. There were so many funerals that occurred, the fire department of New York, the largest fire department in the world, had trouble having proper coverage at each of the funerals, and they needed additional help to attend. I also think about the incredible bravery that occurred that day. The heroes on Flight 93, that fought against the terrorists and gave their lives doing so. I think about the bravery of the firefighters and police officers that went into the Twin Towers to evacuate people and those that fought the fire and searched the wreckage at the Pentagon. I also think about the bravery of those in the military and those that enlisted in the military both before and after 9-11. Please join me in a moment of silence for those that lost their lives that day. Thank you.